New at 5. If you have a routine dental checkup coming up, should you postpone it? Dr. Maria Simbra checked in with some local dentists to see what extra precautions they're taking to keep patients safe. It's time for Julie Hulbert's annual dental checkup. The reason why we have our yearly checkups is for our health reasons. And if they're taking the precautions that the CDC requires, um, I think everybody should be safe. The World Health Organization differs. Its recommendation postpone non essential dental visits for things like cleanings and cosmetic procedures. The concern is the prolonged face to face time and aerosols, droplets from the mouth created during dental work droplets that could spread coronavirus. And I can see why, uh, you know, there's been concern about that. Dentist Dr. Stephen Crandall channeled his concern into beefing up precautions. To having them wait in the parking lots until it's time for them to come in, we have them rinse with Oracare, which kills all viral particles in their mouth. He uses filters and antimicrobial sprays and an ozone machine. It does take us time to uh, turn rooms around and get them ready and safe for another person. Because of all of these efforts, he believes his office is safe. I, I think there are places in the world that the WHO is speaking to that, that need to maybe change or decrease what they're doing. But the ADA has uh, made a statement that they strongly, or they respectfully but strongly disagree with WHO's recommendation. To Dr. Crandall, all dental care, even routine cleaning and checkups, is essential. The longer people put those treatments off or those evaluations off, the more at risk they are for systemic problems. But some of his patients have been nervous to come to the office. In some cases, they've waited too long and now they're losing teeth that they didn't need to lose had they gotten things taken care of sooner. Julie patiently waits her turn and understands the delay comes from all the new steps to keep everyone safe. For everybody to have to stay away and not schedule their daily life routines is, I think, is ridiculous. The World Health Organization says people should hold off until there's a reduction in transmission from community spread down to only cluster cases. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA News.